My regret binds me to this place. Don't recoil from me, Traveler. I mean you no harm. I'm a spirit of regret, not malice. What do I regret? I regret everything. But most of all, I regret betraying Rosalind. Beyond lies Westry, or what remains of the place. This was my home. Until the day the Nords attacked and the curse fell upon us. My wife, Rosalind, took up her sword. I should have trusted her, but I hid and prayed. A darker voice than Stendars answered me, and the town paid the price. Will you walk my wife's path? If you fight as she did, perhaps you can lift this curse. Rosalind fought to the end. When the Nords attacked, many of us cowered, but not Rosalind. She took action. Once they were Nord invaders, but now they are animated corpses and wraiths. Fight them as Rosalind did, and relive her final moments. I don't know. While I prayed, she fought the invaders. I heard that she was going to light the signal fire at the lake to warn Eaglesbrook and perhaps compel them to aid us. Find something of hers, some jewelry perhaps. It may help. If you find one of Rosalind's keepsakes, it should help strengthen your connection and allow you to see her final moments as you follow her path. The stronger your connection, the better chance you'll have of lifting this curse and setting us free. Oh, didn't I say? Forgive me, my memory is often as insubstantial as I am these days. My wife was the captain of the town guard. She was dedicated. She never turned from her duty. Find a keepsake of Rosalind's in order to strengthen your bond to her. Fight through the invaders, the walking dead you see around here, just as she once did. One of them may have taken something from her as they battled. Eagles Brook. Now I should go see Edgar at the inn and make sure everyone is safe. Who's there? Stay back! Wait, is that you, Captain Rosalind? For the moment. I haven't forgotten how to swing a sword, and the inn's walls are stout. Apothecary Muriel's helping the wounded, but she needs more Hawthorne berries. She can't make more healing poultices without them. That would help a lot. Bring them to Muriel at her shop as soon as you can. And Captain, be careful out there. Edgard said Muriel needs hawthorn berries. The berries grow on low shrubs, right? I 
wish Leon were here. I'd know if these were the right berries. I have to hurry. The injured need more healing poultices. I hope this will be enough. Leon made me a potion from these berries once. I remember now. This should do it. Now to head over to the apothecary. I brought the hawthorn berries you need. Captain Rosalind, I've been making poultices for the wounded, but I'm out of hawthorn berries. Hi, Mara, you always did have good timing. Here, let me prepare some poultices for you. If you can apply these to any wounded guards, they should be able to get back into the fight. Muriel's poultice should do the trick. Now, get back into the fight! Here, this poultice should help. Stay strong. Have you seen Leon by any chance? Rest easy, soldier. I need to check on Leon. Captain, I went by your house to check on Leon. He was praying, but something wasn't right. He wasn't praying to Stendar. At least it wasn't like any Stendar prayer I ever heard. And I heard another voice in the house. It was alien, Captain. Evil. I don't mind admitting that what I heard has me more than a little frightened. Leon. Leon, are you here? I forsake the mercy of Stendar and deliver myself to you, Molag Ball. What? Molag Ball? Leon, what have you done? I will not condone this madness. Rosalind? No. What have I done? Rosalind, please! Now you know how I brought this evil upon Westry. Too weak to trust in Stendar. I gave us all to Molag Ball. Perhaps. Maybe you can help us. You're attuned to Rosalind now. If anyone can break this curse, it's you! When Rosalind discovered what I did, she fled to the town chapel. She lost her sword after a battle with the Nord leader. Retrieve the sword and bring it to her remains. The sword's in the chapel, the building beyond the burial vault. 
Yes, you deserve the truth. Molog Ball turned Rosalind into a vengeful shade. He turned her into the tormentor of the people she fought so hard to protect. The sword might remind her who she really is. If not, you must destroy her and set us free. Please finish this. Retrieve the sword from the chapel and take it to the burial vault where Rosalind died. Do what I cannot and face my poor wife's shade. Our village was attacked by Nord raiders. I prayed to Stendar for aid, but my wife, the captain of the guard, was more practical. She went to rally the town's defenses. No, not even a whisper. But I did hear the shouts of the Nords and the cries of my people. I feared for my dear Rosalind. And then I made a terrible mistake. I offered my soul to anyone who would preserve us. Molag Ball accepted. He let the Nords kill us all. Then he preserved the town by binding our spirits here. We relive our final moments over and over, experiencing our slaughter for all eternity. Spirits of Westry belong to me. belong to me. You had the strength to do what no one else could, and now I'm free. You have no idea what that means to me. But tell me, stranger, why did you do all of this? Leon. I loved him once. Perhaps I still do. But there's the matter of Molag Ball to deal with first. Leon made a deal with the Daedric Prince, and despite your actions, that deal remains in place. My shade was only one aspect of the curse. There are also the innocent spirits of Westry, and the angry spirits of the invaders. Use my sword to make the town safe for mortals, or use this gem to set the innocent spirits free. The choice is yours. Then you must destroy the enraged wraiths, and make Westry safe for mortal travelers once again. But that will leave the innocent spirits of Westry's villagers trapped here forever, bound to the haunted town. Then you would free the spirits of Westry's innocent villagers, ending their bondage to this place. However, the danger to mortal travelers would remain, and the living will never find welcome or solace within Westry's borders. This gem represents Westry's torment. You'd use it to save us, even if Westry remains a danger to the living? Such mercy still exists makes my heart glad. Take the gem, and free the innocent spirits. When the deed is done, return to Leon. The Eight saved me! I 
fear the worst. The lamentations of Westry's dead have been silenced. Now I can finally tell Rosalind how sorry I am. Thank you, Traveler. Our torment is finally over. Rosalind has forgiven me, though Stendar knows I don't deserve it. Our thanks for bringing peace to Westry and rest to us all. May you walk in Stendar's light. <laughs>